hey how are you all and welcome back to yet another amazing video and in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize your performance in rainbow six siege x dropped recently fix lags stutter input latency a lot of other things in this video so make sure to stick around to the end of this video and with all that said let's get started with the intro All right, step number one is the best window settings and for that simply search for settings on your PC and once you're over here, come down to personalization and then click on colors and disable transparency effects. Right after that, come down to gaming and then head over to game bar and simply turn this thing off. Since it is an overlay service, disabling that will help you to optimize your PC's performance. After that, go back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this thing on. Since it optimizes your PC by turning things and applications off in the background, helping you to improve your performance after that click on graphic settings and then you have to enable optimization for without games over here and then click on advanced graphic settings enable hardware extra to gpu scheduling and once that is done click on add a desktop app button over here and then go to the download location of your rainbow six siege x if you guys are unaware of it simply right click on your game head over to manage and then click on browse local files and then copy this file path over here. Paste the file path and press enter. And once you're over here, click on rainbow 6 exe and then click on add. If that is already added, you have to scroll down and find it. And once you are here, click on the game and then for the GPU preference, select high performance over here. And once it is done, simply close your settings. Next step is deanimating windows and for that simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and once you're over here you have to click on adjust for best performance and then click on save taskbar thumbnail previews show thumbnails instead of icons show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts these four options will help you to minimize the basic look of your windows while reducing the number of animations that will help you to optimize the performance of your PC and reduce your input latency. Once it is done, click on the apply button. Next step is fixing all of your ping, packet loss, latency and network connection issues using a Lago Fast. You guys can find a free download link right in the description below. And once it opens up, it offers you a search bar which offers you more than 300 games to choose from. Simply select Rainbow Six Siege X and click on that. Once you are here, click on select server and choose the nearest region to you. For me, it would be right in the Asia, in India and once that is done, it will acquire all of the nodes. If the ping is really high over here, what you guys can do is simply click on server and then select smart boost over here and it will auto select the best server for you. And once it is done, you guys can see an estimated ping over here which is somewhere around 8 milliseconds. Lego Fast additionally offers support for a lot of PC games, console games and FPS boost options wherein you can go to CPU settings and then disable all of these unnecessary services. GPU overclocking, I have simply disabled that but you guys can do that in here and driver update if you guys have any pending driver updates. All in all, Lego Fast is a super simple and very efficient way to fix all kind of packet loss ping issues and not just that it also helps you to boost your fps and you can come to redeem code and type in bear fox and then click on the redeem button to get 30 percent off it has a ton of features which you guys can go and check out for yourself i have left a direct download link right in the description below next step is disabling background applications and for that simply search for local group policy editor and click on edit group policy once you're over here double click on computer configuration administrative templates windows components app privacy and right over here double click on let windows apps run in the background this policy will open right in front of you you have to ensure that this is set to enabled and default for all applications should be set to force deny this will apply the policy to your background applications and set them to force deny ensuring that none of the applications run in the background and this will help you to boost your performance next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your pc and once you're over here scroll down and select your local disk c click on create and name it rain Rainbow Six Siege X, just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys now to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any kind of data loss. Once that is done, simply click on close and close system properties. The next step is R6X FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You guys can simply open this pack up and over here you'll find five simple folders. The first one is CPU priority in which I have left AMD and Intel CPU priority. So if you guys have an AMD CPU, you can double click and apply the AMD CPU priority. And if you guys have an Intel CPU, you can do the same for this one. It will help you to optimize the D word values for your processor, which will help you to optimize the performance of your processor. Second one is the RAM optimization, which is the same task, but for your RAM. 
I have left a ton of registries according to your PC. I have 32 GB RAM, so I need to apply this one. It could be different for you, so you can apply it according to your PC. And once again, if that doesn't work out well, you can always reset it back to default right over here. Third folder is the R6X priority, in which I have left these three priorities, for which I would recommend you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below. And I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose right over here. Once you're done applying that, head over to the fourth folder which is Disable Unwanted Services in which I have left a ton of services which are really useless and disabling them will help you to optimize the performance of your PC by reducing unnecessary services. If you guys use any Bluetooth service or printer services, leave these two as it is but other than that, disable every single one of them right over here. Once again, if you want to revert any of them back again, head over to the revert registries folder and re-enable them back again. Last and not the least is the programs folder in which I have left these two simple programs. The first one is Pro PC Optimizer V1.2. You have to right click in on it as administrator. This optimizer will help you to optimize all of your system score settings in a simple click. Simply press enter and then enter again and this will help you to create a restore point. Once that is done, press enter once again and this will start optimizing all of your system settings. And once that is done, head over to the second software that is Unpack CPU. You have to right click on that and then run it as administrator. This simple software will help you to disable core parking on your PC. What you have to do is simply slide this core parking index all the way up to 100% and then simply click on apply. This will ensure that all of your cores are in use and none of them are parked or put in sleep mode and this will ensure that you are getting the maximum performance right off your PC. Once all of that is done, you can simply close the FPS pack and once all of that is done, you guys can drop into the game with the best in game settings. Okay, once you're in your game, head over to the settings gear and then click on options. Right over here, head down to display settings and then make sure that your display adapter is your native graphic card. For your monitor, go with your native monitor and your resolution should be your native monitor resolution. Display mode should always be set to full screen and refresh rate should be highest available. Then for VSync, turn this thing off and FPS limit, turn this thing off as well. FOV, I would recommend go with 90 and once that is done, head down to the graphic settings. Over here, use Nvidia Reflex Low Latency to on plus boost if that option is available for you then for texture quality you guys can go with high texture vram limit i would recommend you guys to go normal over here texture filtering you guys can go with anisotropic 16x doesn't really matter much lod quality you guys can go with high shading quality go with low shadow quality go with low over here reflection quality you guys can go with medium vfx quality you guys can go with high ambient occlusion go with off Lens effects go with off, zoom in depth of field you guys can go with off, Nvidia deep learning super sampling, this is nothing but DLSS. You guys can go with balanced or performance if you guys have a low end PC, but if you guys have a decent PC you can go with quality over here. Right after that come down and then you'll find TAA sharpness, you guys can keep it to 50 and once that is done click on apply. Once you're done applying these settings, you guys can go with benchmark over here to see if you guys are getting adequate FPS. You can change some of these settings according to your PC and once that is done, you guys can drop into the game with absolute banger FPS. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button. Let me know how this guide helped you. And we are really close to 250,000 subscribers. So I believe you guys can hit the subscribe button for free. And that supports me a ton. We'll see you all in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.